everybody, I want to give you a brief talk on physical education and what I would like you to know is why it is so important and how you can help your child. Particularly if you want to help your child to write, which has lots of fine movements, or perhaps play a musical instrument, which has lots of fine movements, we have to develop the big muscles, the strong muscles, because before they can move the fine muscles, they, children, young children, have to learn to use their big muscles, their gross motor skills. And physical education is one of the prime areas of the curriculum. That is, it's very important, okay? So, if you want to help your child learn to write, play a musical instrument, let them spend lots of time outside running around. We do lots of running here at Dulwich Wood and I'm amazed how much children really enjoy running around. They're often asking me, come on Roland, can we run? And that is really good because that uses all the big motor, big, the big muscles, in the legs and thighs and in the back as well. And what it does to the brain, this is very important, developing these muscles encourages the brain, brain cells, to communicate with each other. They make connections through synapses. And so physical education is very important for brain development. So if you want to help your child's brain develop, lots of physical exercise, okay? Running around, jumping, climbing, take them to the woods, chuck a rope over the tree, swing around on it. If, they, if they're climbing the park, if they hang from anything, that's really good for developing the back muscles and making the brain make connections. So, I just want to show you a few finger exercises that we often do, say, in music. Don't forget we have music sessions um, at the end of the morning on a Friday and at the end of the afternoon on a Friday. Do come and join in. We'd love to see you there with your child. So, you could learn to do this. This um, I call Incy Wincy Spider. See if you can get your child to stick one finger on the thumb and then the other finger, first pointy finger, on the other thumb. And see if they can walk like that. In the wincy spider. See if they can walk back down. Oh, it's not so easy for me because I'm used to just doing in the wincy spider who goes up. Okay. That's a great little exercise. It encourages coordination. Uh, dancing is another fantastic thing you can do with your children because it teaches them rhythm. And we need rhythm to move, to walk, to run, and everything like that. But teach you a little nursery rhyme here. Um, it goes like this. It is uh, backs of your hands, put the backs of your hands together. Lock the things together. Go. There's a church, there's a steeple, open the doors, and there's all the people. It's an old English rhyme. Here's another little funny thing the children have been learning to do. I've been encouraging them to do it. Um, quite challenging, quite challenging for some of us adults as well, I can tell you. Put your hands together like that, like you're saying your prayers. Drop down your middle fingers. Keep the other fingers straight, and what we do is this. Slide around like that, and it looks rather funny, doesn't it? You might find it easier just to put your middle fingers back to back like that. Or, you can drop those two fingers like that, and just put them together. So one palm facing up. The other palm facing down. Okay, there's some things.
to do with your child. Don't forget all that running around, jumping, climbing is very good for brain development. Thank you very much for your time. Hopefully see you on Fridays.